Italian food is one of my most favorite cuisines in the world. It sits right up there next to Indian food because, you know, I'm Indian. This video is super exciting because I'm going to be taking you through Rome and trying some authentic Italian food. Oh my god, I'm hungry already. Good morning guys and welcome to Rome. So right now I've just made my way to a restaurant called El Barreto and I'm here for some breakfast. This place is a short walk away from the Colosseum and I'm doing like the Romans do. So I'm starting off with some pastries and a cappuccino. So this one has a sort of nutty shell and then on the inside is a pistachio paste. And this one over here is a croissant which has been dusted with uh, sugar and on the inside it has chocolate. You can see it's got so many layers and the way it's so crispy. Listen to this. <laughs> I am particularly excited to try this one out because I love pistachio. Oh, that's delightful. It's like peanut butter, but just not here. And on the inside, the pistachio cream is so tasty and it's not so sweet. I love that. I'm just gonna wash it all with a cappuccino and I have to tell you, the Italians do cappuccino so well. What a way to start the morning. For lunch, I stopped by at this place called Forno da Milvio to get some. If I can open this correctly. So this here is Roman pizza and it's pizza by the slice. They can cut the pizza for you in different sizes of the slice and they weigh it and depending on how much it weighs is what they'll charge you. So I got like different flavors of pizzas cut in small slices so that I can try a little bit of everything. I have a margarita, then this one with some meat slices on it. What's the meat called? Uh, mozzarella. Mozzarella. <laughs> it's like mozzarella, but not really. Anyway, so it's a slice of meat and then there's another flavor over here with some cherry tomatoes. Let's try this out. It's a little bit hot. That is amazing. So this one has a little bit of a thicker crust compared to the round pizza. You can taste the olive oil on the pork. You can taste the porkiness of the pork. It's a little bit salted, so very, very mild. But this one, the mozzarella, I give it a bene. Up next is my favorite flavor, which is the margarita. And this one, it has a thinner crust and goodness all over. Mm. Oh, that is so good. By the way, guys, if you're wondering, I found a human tripod. <laughs> his name is Jeff. <laughs> hey, guys, he just walked up to me and asked if I can hold his camera, and I was like, okay. And he did, thank you. Can I go now? I have an appointment. <laughs> Thanks, I, I'm, I'm basically done. <laughs> he was watching one of my videos from Old Pajetta yesterday. He has never heard of me before that. <laughs> so he hit me up on Instagram. He's like, are you in Rome? Because I'm in Rome as well. And here we are, we met up and uh, we're having pizza together now. It was too much of a coincidence to just ignore. Like, I had to reach out. Like, I'm going to Old Bajetta next week and he's in Rome right now. Like, I'm really like, odds? yeah, what are the odds? That's mind blowing. <laughs> so, can't possibly stand and eat all that pizza. So we, <laughs> we looked for shelter under a freaking fountain <laughs> because everywhere else over here, it is hot. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. <laughs> so in Italy, you can walk into supermarkets or butcheries and not only can you purchase some of the freshest ingredients, you can also buy sandwiches where there are actually sliced cold cuts in front of you and cheese. So right next to the Pantheon, I saw this uh, little butchery called Antica Salumeria and it is so beautifully set up. So I ordered a sandwich that's uh, ciabatta and on the inside is al pecorino cheese, something like that, and prosciutto. So think of the freshest ingredients possible put in a sandwich. Mm. So good.
the evening has fallen and I'm doing what the Italians love to do best which is drink. So this is a part of something called an aperitivo which starts at about 5 o'clock. It's basically pre-meal drinks and appetizers. So I got myself an Aperol Spritz. Basically it's a mix of Aperol and Prosecco. Check out what they gave us in terms of snacks. So this here is all different types of meats in slices on pieces of bread. Marmalade, prosciutto on bread, mortadella with pistachio and honey. There's a little bit of arugula on the sides and then this one is speck with some sort of cream cheese on the top. My oh my, my oh my. Chin chin. <laughs> chin chin. <laughs> mm. It's sweet, it's fizzy, I love it. So I'm gonna try out this one first, the one that has the marmalade. I love how the sweetness of the marmalade just blends with the ham. Oh my god, it tastes so good. And the bread is so nice and soft. Mm, 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 mm. So we're gonna try the one with the mozzarella, with a little bit of the pistachio chunks on the top. Actually that mozzarella, the meat slice is just so tasty. Wow. Finally, we're gonna taste the prosciutto with the cream on top, or I think she said it's called speck or something like that. Mm. Mm. Italians love their food, and definitely from all these dishes I've been eating, you can really tell how much love is put into each and every dish. The Italians will start their meal with the aperitivo at about five o'clock. They'll hang out until it's about eight. From there, they'll have a three course meal, which will go on till about 10. So sitting down and having a meal with your friends is like a six hour long process. That's, that's so freaking cool. So Jeff is friends with a tour guide over here and a very famous one. She's called Mitra. Hi Mitra. Hi. I know, did I oversell you? <laughs> I don't know if I'm that famous, but yes, I'm a tour guide. I'm a historian. I'm a board licensed tour guide in Italy. I'm also a travel advisor. So I plan people's trips as well. But yes, I do Italy and I've been doing uh, travel for 20 years. So now we're eating together. <laughs> she brought us to this really beautiful uh, restaurant and we've ordered stuff on a plate that looks so good. This is burrata. It is fresh mozzarella with cream that is inside of just a casing. So it's not hard cheese. It's very buttery and soft and creamy and it's made of buffalo milk. And then we have goat cheese with figs and walnuts. And this is perhaps not the most common aperitivo, but we have some sweet olives. This is called Olive di San Agostino. So they're very big and green, and they're actually very sweet and mild in flavor. So often people who are not super keen on olives tend to like these as well. And then we have Taralli, and they are very good little cracker snack to accompany with your wine or with your drink. Kudos on all the knowledge. <laughs> you are very smart. So I want to try out the burrata. And this on top is a little bit of arugula, right? So the burrata a little bit plain, but there's anchovies, which I'm gonna take one of them. And I tried it alone. It's very, very um, strong and salty. So you pair the two. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. Dolce far niente. The sweetness of doing nothing but our doing nothing is to eat and drink. Listen, we are not great with social economics in the state of Italy, so we really focus on food and history, and this is what we do best. Salute. Salute. Aperitivo was amazing. We've opened up our appetites, and now we've come to another restaurant for some dinner and basically we've been moving around in an area called Monty which has some really nice restaurants. Just look at that. So I've ordered a seafood pasta and a lasagna. I won't lie, my stomach is just like... But <laughs> the flavors, I'm not regretting any of it. So the seafood pasta is this type of pasta here which is called rigatoni. It's been drizzled with my favorite parmesan. Try a little bit of the mussels. That's it. That's it. It's perfecto. It's just perfecto. So the great thing about meeting friends on social media is that you can share dishes and 
try as many of them as possible and that's why we ordered the lasagna let's take a little bit of it look at all those layers it's just layers and layers and cheese and 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 Bestow upon us your knowledge. Tiramisu, okay, well, it originated from a brothel. Really? So it's from an area north of Venice. It was meant to stimulate clients. Can we put it that way? <laughs> that would come into the brothel, something along those lines, and uh, the tiramisu just stuck. Oh, this cuts in so nice. It's soft, it's puffy, it's creamy. <laughs> Dusted with cocoa. <laughs> Good night, guys. Good evening, guys, and we're starting off day two late because I've decided to call in some backup to show us some food here in Rome. So I booked a food tour on Airbnb and it's going to be in the Trastevere neighborhood and it's starting at 5.30. So I have about an hour before the experience starts. It's going to be a three hour long experience. They're going to take us to different places to try out different restaurants. So there's going to be a lot of food to eat. We've been told to come hungry. So I basically haven't eaten all day and man, I am starving. You guys, I was just walking towards where I'm supposed to meet the Airbnb host for the food tour and I stumbled upon this place so it's evening time and guys are having their coffees and their pastries and I went inside I saw these little chocolate filled pastries that had chocolate on top and I just had to try it so one euro for the chocolate filled pastry one euro for the espresso and man so so good all right let's go for the food tour so the food tour has officially begun got some red wine and we started off with some um, sliced meats cheeses and some of this pizza bread what's the name of the plate called it's a tagliere tagliere so it's basically um uh, meats and cheese cold cuts and cheeses together sometimes there's fruit in there as well sometimes there's olives how many dishes are we trying today um we're gonna try six different dishes six yes and gelato. and gelato. Are we going to grow fat? No, we're not. Because we're going to walk a lot and it's Italy, you don't get fat. Right. <laughs> we're having something called a soupli. The word soupli comes from the French word uh, meaning surprise. And it's called surprise because when you Ooh. open it, you get this cheese and mozzarella. Surprise for the mozzarella. And in Italian, it's called soupli, soupli al telefono. And uh, it's called al telefono because, like, when you split the mozzarella, it's like the telephone wire when it goes really long. And you oh, yeah, 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 it gets long. <laughs> it looks so good, it's hot. Oh, oh I, I think I destroyed it. Oh, gosh, I destroyed it. It's <laughs> working. <laughs> oh, you got the telephono. Hello, <laughs> salute. <laughs> It'll be hot. Mmm. Has a little bit of a tanginess to it. Yeah. Mm. Delicioso. <laughs> so we've ordered this pizza called Celsiccia, which is a Roman pizza. It's got tomato sauce, cheese, sausage, and topped with arugula. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> I love Italian food. I freaking love it. Mm. Um. The arugula adds so much freshness to this pizza and the cheese and everything. This is completely heaven. So apparently the Roman pizza is not enough for an actual Roman and that's why they would have something fried before the pizza. I, I don't know how a full pizza is not enough for food. It's like so much. <laughs> This tour has had so much wine. So right now we have just been served with pastas that are specifically from the Roman region, carbonara and amatriciani. And something interesting, I've never seen this before. This may look like it's spaghetti, but it actually isn't because uh, the pasta has a hole through it. What's the name of this pasta? The whole thing is a matriciana, and the pasta is bucatini. The pasta is bucatini. Yeah. Italian flavors are so simple, but it's just so wholesome because of how fresh and organic everything is. I'm so full, but I just can't get enough. Our final dish is the wheel and prosciutto. I actually put a stick in the middle to hold them all together, and they cook it slowly in white, dry white wine. 
It smells good. It smells yeah, it really smells good. Sage. And the name means a burst of flavor. What's the name again, bro? Saltimbocca. Saltimbocca. The flavors in here, it's beautiful. The prosciutto adds the salt to the veal. Uh, mm. Bene. Four glasses of wine later and a lot of food later. My belly is full, but we still have gelato left. Let's do this. The way to know whether a gelato is legit and good in the artigianale yeah. is that it has to be always under these covers or at worst at the counter level. Never those high mountains okay. of ice cream, never fluorescent colors. I'm going to have pistacchio oh, and stracciatella, two of my favorite flavors. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the accent. And with that guys, this gelato concludes this food tour. I had an amazing time. We did this food tour with a company called Carpe Diem and I'll leave a link in the description box below. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!